Okay, this is a trick that I learned um, in the late 1990s. I've been doing this trick for over 20 years. And it is from Pitt Hartling. The source where I learned this effect was a little booklet called The Little Green Lecture. I'll get these cards just a little mixed, like so. And what you'll do is I am going to memorize the order of the deck very, very quickly. I think I got it. Okay, I got it. So this is a, an effect that's similar to Dave's move a card. I want you to think of any red card. You think of any black card. And I want you to switch their positions in the pack. Okay? Now, this is a really difficult effect to do with just one person. But if you guys look this up, you'll see how beautiful this is. Let's say one person thinks of the Jack of Hearts. And let's say somebody thinks of the Four of Spades. Now, you would not know this as the Magician you would turn your back, but they're gonna switch their positions in the pack. With the idea being, if you move two cards from a deck that I've memorized, it's gonna be very easy for me to find the two cards that you've switched, okay? That's the whole premise behind the effect. Now, anytime you're doing memorized deck work, what you do not want to do is deal the cards out into packets, okay? Because when you deal them into packets, now it becomes difficult to track which cards go where. Okay, so if we deal these guys out like so, it becomes real difficult to remember which card actually goes, you know, in those uh, specific locations if we do it like that. All right, the other thing you don't want to do in mem deck work is switch packets around in a row, and you don't want to switch packets like this that might be in the same column. Okay, never switch the packets around. Another thing I've learned is don't do a Rosetta shuffle. Like you don't want to do this and shuffle the packet together because when you start doing Rosetta shuffles, it mixes everything up, right? That's bad. It's going to kill your stack work. The other thing I would never do is I would never do this table wash because when you're doing a table wash, you're going to lose track of which card was in the seventh position, you know, which one was at 13. So the table wash is going to kill that, okay? Now, I don't even remember the two cards that were selected and switched in the pack. But because of this trick, Chaos by Pitt Hartling, as the magician, when I take the pack and I spread through, I can find one selection and I can find two selections very, very quickly. For the first time, what's the name of the card you selected? The Jack of Hearts, and what was yours? The Four of Spades, and I do remember now, there they are, the Jack of Hearts, the Four of Spades. This is called Chaos by Pitt Hartling, and I found it in the Little Green Lecture. Till next time, guys. Take care.